Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at the 60-second installment of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. We've got some pretty interesting ones today, so be sure to stick around until the end. Please subscribe and turn on bell notifications and help me get to 50,000. Also, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. What I eat in a day as a fat girl trying to lose weight. That's how you read it when it has those stars in there, but that is not how you spell lose. Leftover chicken parmigiana, 12.30 p.m. Okay, so you got up at noon and ate some chicken parmigiana. I would not recommend starting your day off with that. I'm pretty sure the chicken is breaded and it's also sitting atop a pile of pasta, as you can see. Pasta is one thing and breaded chicken is one thing. These two one things never need to become the same thing. We don't need that many carbs first thing in the morning. In fact, we don't need that many carbs in one sitting at all. Low carb toast with peanut butter, okay. How are you gonna have chicken parmigiana on top of a plate of pasta and then the next thing you have is low carb toast? You should have had low carb that. You should have not had all that pasta. I was misinformed that I would be going out to dinner and did not, so unfortunately suffered the remainder of the night. I did have some liquor though. <laughs> At least you got some liquor in there. You don't want to go to bed hungry and sober. Yeah, I had some dinner plans and they kind of fell through. So I drank a bottle of vodka. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> hey, hey. Let's take a look at this one and add it up. All right, so this is a pretty short one. Um, you started the day off with a chicken parmigiana. There were a lot of carbs in that. So it was strange that later on you had some low carb toast with peanut butter. And then you wrapped up the evening with some liquor and I know that's not low carb. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a two out of 10. You were expecting a one, weren't you? Got you with the two, hit you with the curveball. Honestly, that could go either way. That's between a one and a two right there. That's a 1.5. So you can come for me all you want on that. Next, what I eat in a day as a fat girl. Part 110. We haven't seen her in a moment. Olive Garden, 5 p.m. Okay, did you just not film what you ate for the rest of the day or is this literally all you ate all day? Honestly, the amount of carbs in one Olive Garden meal is probably enough for the whole day. Pasta and breadsticks? Oh boy, <laughs> no, 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 get out of there. And the breadsticks are free. You'll just keep bringing them, no, 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 get out of there. La Family. Isn't it La Familia, bruh? <laughs> Your family really loves the Olive Garden. You got an Arnold Palmer. Let's see, what is that? Is that a tea and a lemonade? I believe it is. Pretty good drink. A very mature drink for you. I would have expected an old man to be drinking that. Sangria? Oh, we drinking. What? Is there alcohol in that sangria? Sangria is an alcoholic beverage originating in Spain and Portugal. Under EU regulations, only those two Iberian nations can label their products as sangria. What? <laughs> Whatever. So yes, there is alcohol in sangria. I don't practice sangria. I ain't got no crystal punch bowl. Well, I had a million drinks, but I forgot about them all. If I could find that wine glass. <laughs> Look at your mom across the table judging the hell out of you. How many of those sangrias have you had? She's looking at you like, what? A fifth one? Really? It looks so pretty, she said. Um, I, I guess. Um, I don't know. It looks like a red liquid inside of a clear glass to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not, art maybe I'm just not artistic, dude. I got no vision. Bomb ASF, all right. 
<laughs> that look on her face. Hold on. <laughs> that is the look of that is bomb ASF. Chicken gnocchi. Okay. Some good old gnocchi. Gnocchi are a varied family of dumplings in Italian cuisine. And of course, they slathered it in Parmesan cheese because this is Olive Garden. Everything is... Dude, 80% of the dishes are Parmesan cheese only. The guy comes over with that cheese grater thing. He's like, let me grate you some Parmesan. And he just starts doing it. You're like, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm pretty good. And he's like, what? What do you mean? You don't want any more Parmesan? I'm like, eh. You're grating Parmesan onto a block of Parmesan. So, I don't know, man. I literally... my plate is entirely just covered in parmesan and you're over here like let me give you some more huh like dude i'm good i've had parmesan bro it doesn't need to go on every single freaking thing get it out of here it's good but it's not like literally this bowl of soup that we're looking at whatever the liquid is the flavor of the liquid in this soup is the same flavor that you can find in every single olive garden dish whatever the flavor in there is is this there's like one flavor packet that they use to season every single dish at olive garden and it tastes just like what's in that bowl it's a mixture of like basil and parmesan and vegetable oil <laughs> Hydrogenated vegetable oil, probably. Olive Garden is one of my least favorite places to eat on this planet. I hope they're not a sponsor. If they are a sponsor, then I take that back. Go eat some Olive Garden, dude. Superior. Oh, yes. Oh, is it? Is it? I swear it's not. I swear I could do better myself without even trying. I could stumble into a dollar store and grab some ingredients and come up with something better than this, I swear. By the way, I am still going to do that series. The breadsticks are so good. Dude, it's all bread. Dude, you know how cheap it is for them to produce all these breadsticks and give them to you? And you're dipping it in the general purpose olive garden sauce <laughs> open up another bag of that general purpose olive garden sauce that we put on literally everything i have some extended family out there somewhere that likes to eat at the olive garden it's really bizarre because they have money it's really weird when people have money but they do not know how to spend it at all why would you eat at a stupid, nasty chain restaurant? If you want to go out to eat, going to a chain restaurant is really no different than going to fast food. All the food that you're getting was prepared beforehand in some warehouse somewhere and then frozen and shipped to your location and reheated. All chain restaurants are like this. That's why it's an absolute waste of time to eat at them. I make way better food at home. I'm not exaggerating either. I'm not some kind of Gordon Ramsay. It's not hard to cook. Beating their dish is not hard. Even if you are not a good cook, the fact that you are making something fresh at home immediately makes it way better than the pre-made frozen crap that they shipped in and reheated for you. Get yourself some pots and pans and get to work. That's the problem today. Nobody wants to work. Get to work. Get your f ass up and work. Just like Kim K said. Pretty sure that's what she said. It was in relation to cooking. I'll stop going like this now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Mozzarella? What? That's a mozzarella stick? What the heck? Okay, so each one of those is like two mozzarella sticks stuck together, and now it's shaped like a raft. That's a mozzarella raft, homie. That's not just a stick. You can float down the river on that. And what's that on top? Uh, Parmesan cheese. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, Parmesan cheese, man. Are you following me around, bro? Stop stalking me. Mozzarella. Of course there was Parmesan on that. That guy with the freaking Parmesan thing just like, I don't know, dude, they're paying that guy too much. That would be the funnest job in the Olive Garden though, right? That'd be way funner than just being like a regular server. Like you get around like, hey, you want, you want some of this right here? And you just come over like, you like smile a little bit at the person while you're great. And hey, how's it going? More? You want some more? No? This is good? Okay. All right. Go to the next person. You. You want some you want you want some cheese, dude? Alright, I got you. Okay. Nice day, huh? Yeah. I love shredding cheese, dude. It's really my passion. You good? Okay, I'm going to the next guy. 
You see, I don't know why, but that seems okay to me. That, that ain't a hard job. That's just hanging out in a restaurant. So cheesy. Indeed. Indeed. Artichoke dip. What the heck? That looked like a artichoke pie. What? Okay, I bet it's good though, dude. There's nothing like a freaking artichoke dip, right? The spinach dips are good too. All right, so what are we dipping in there? Is that some kind of uh, some kind of pita? Chicken Frida, Alfredo. Frida. I've never heard of that one. I believe this dish is specific to Olive Garden because when you Google it, all that comes up is Olive Garden stuff. So they created it. It combines succulent pieces of Parmesan crusted chicken with a creamy and cheesy Alfredo sauce. So it literally is the same exact dish as every other dish at that restaurant. <laughs> literally, bro. Parmesan crusted chicken, right? So it's breaded. Let me. I'm guessing it's not just Parmesan crusted. I'm guessing it's Parmesan and bread crusted. Oh yeah, I can see that the chicken is breaded. Parmesan crusted, likely mostly bread and slightly a little bit of Parmesan in there. We have breaded fried meat put on top of noodles. So we got carbs on top of carbs. Carbs are cheap and easy to produce. So if you fill a meal with them, you can have good margins. That's why when you go out to eat, most of your meals are all stupid garbage carbs. And yeah, every single thing at Olive Garden has the same exact Alfredo sauce on it. Superior. I don't know, man. I need to get you some actual Italian food, I swear you would lose your mind. If, if this is superior, dude, if you had some real Italian food, oh, you would freaking have an out-of-body experience. Okay, bye, girly pops. I ate leftovers. Let's take a look at this one and add it up. All right, so you started the day off with a couple of drinks, which is a little bit different. Um, you started the day off with an Arnold Palmer, which I believe is an iced tea with lemonade. A pretty good drink, not bad. Of course, there's a lot of sugar and nonsense in there, and we know how I feel about that. And then you had a sangria. I believe this was in the evening, so this was appropriate. If this was like a 5 a.m. Olive Garden trip, this would hit a little bit differently, right? <laughs> She's like, I woke up at 5 a.m., rolled out of bed, grabbed a sangria, and then you had a chicken gnocchi. This is all taking place in an Olive Garden, where debauchery often happens. And then you had some breadsticks to go with your bread and on the side you had some mozzarella sticks that were coated in bread and then you had some artichoke dip with pita which is some kind of bread and then you had some chicken frita alfredo which was some chicken that was breaded and sitting atop a bowl of carbs are we seeing a theme with carbs and breading in general? I think we are. The reason a low carb diet works for weight loss is because it helps you manage your blood sugar levels. Avoiding foods that cause a blood sugar spike is one way to do it. If weight loss is your goal, I would recommend reading more into that. All right, I have come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 10. I'm not sure if that's what they ate for the whole entire day because they really just documented their trip to Olive Garden. Either way, there's not a whole lot of nutrition in all those processed carbs. Next, what I eat in a day as a fat person on vacation in New York City. You went to New York City for vacation? Why? People usually leave New York and go somewhere else for vacation. Like to some nice nature place or something. Okay, whatever. Maybe you live in a beautiful nature area and you're like dude screw all this beautiful nature let's go to new york <laughs> new york is cool to visit i definitely recommend it but um you'll you'll see you can go visit yourself and decide if you want to live there iced mocha latte all right let me examine the color of this let's see according to my iced mocha swatch you have uh, way too much damn sugar in there and milk. Damn it, there's not two E's. Dang it. Oh, everyone's going to think I'm an idiot. You look so happy and fancy free. You're really enjoying New York, dude. <laughs> I love that. 
Check out these vegan donuts. Slay. Dude, if there is no beef in these donuts, dude, they are no good. Get them out of here. I only eat the beefiest donuts myself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you eat any of those donuts? Because we see you going into the donut shop. Okay, so we just looked at a bunch of donuts. Um, we didn't eat them. And now baby's first New York bagel. Who's baby? Is that, is that you? Are we referring to ourselves in the third person? And that's not just a bagel, that's a sandwich. Did you just go in the donut shop to look at the donuts or something? Because there's a lot less calories if you do it that way. So that's that's a good technique. So I went in there and I looked at some donuts and I was like, mmm, mmm, fuck all that shit. Bye. Yeah, so I went to the Cheesecake Factory. I walked in and I was like, hmm, that all looks very delicious. Fuck you very much. Bye. And then I went home and ate a steak, you know. Oh, so you're baby. Okay. You refer to yourself in the third person as baby. Okay, that's weird. Are you a system? Are you in a relationship with yourself? By the way, people faking mental disorders, um, I can make content about that too. Like just now I said, are you a system? That was referencing people that fake DID. Blueberry donut. Aha! Aha! You did get a donut. I knew it. Nobody can just look at and sniff a donut without actually eating it. I've tried. Aw. Hold on. Let's go back. Aw, that is a good boy. Or girl. Yes, fats. Yes, femmes. <laughs> Oh my god, I want that poster so bad, bro. God, I want that poster. When I get to 50,000 subscribers, I'm gonna get a P.O. box. Somebody send me that poster, please. It will complete my very pathetic life. Dude, all of these posters are gold, bro. <laughs> I just kept zooming in on it. <laughs> All right, now what do we got? Starbs. Okay, what are you having from Starbs? What does it say? It says uh, a venti iced peach something lemonade? Some kind of peach lemonade. Okay. Oh, you met some random person on the street. You know, that's how it goes in New York, dude. You find love at every turn. It's a magical city. No, I'm just kidding. It smells like garbage and feces. Vegan peanut butter shake. Good thing it's vegan, because normally peanuts um, have a bunch of beef in there. <laughs> no, I know it's because of the milk. <laughs> I'm like a total moron. <laughs> what part of a milkshake is vegan? The peanuts, you moron? Like, yes, I know it's the milk, guys, okay? It's a good thing diabetes is vegan. Um. <laughs> Parmesan, quote, chicken, end quote, wings. Okay, um, what are they made out of, though? Is that made out of that Satan stuff that, as the name implies, is evil? So as a vegan, you're perfectly comfortable telling people, like, yeah, I don't eat meat. I get all my protein from Satan. Satan himself. Okay. You fool. Come to the dark side. Eat the fake meat. I bet those are so god-awful. I'm not trying to be mean or dunk on your food, bro. Mac and cheese. Kale. <laughs> Everything is in quotes. <laughs> and then I had some food. Okay. I don't like eating food that comes in quotes. Like, here's your chicken. <laughs> like, no, I don't like that at all, bro. Hey, can I sprinkle some cheese on your meal um i'd feel a lot more comfortable if you stop putting everything in quotes hey i love you too hun i 
I forgot to put some other stuff in quotes too. So, was your meal good? Um, yeah, it was real good. You don't have to nod and pretend that it's good. We all know it's terrible. I'm sure perhaps once you haven't eaten real cheese for long enough, this tastes edible. This bathroom is the vibe. Okay, what do we got? We've got an eagle swooping down. What is that, a wolf making peace with a bird? Oh, dude, this mural is dope. Okay, and we have like a fox chilling with a turtle and a bunny back there. And what is that, a hawk or some kind of bird up top? Okay, I like this. You're right, this bathroom is a vibe. Dr. Pepper. I wonder if the original Dr. Pepper was just mostly black pepper. Probably not, that would have been terrible. Tater tots. Good thing those are vegan. This is a pretty long day of stuff so far. Bye bye, BBs. Bye bye, BB. All right, bye bye, BB. Um, to you too. Let's take a look at this one and add it up. All right, so you started the day off with an iced mocha latte. According to my mocha swatch, you had a few creams in there and a few sugars. Blood sugar spike first thing in the morning? Um, only in New York, baby. And then you had a blueberry donut. At first I thought you were just gonna take a couple laps around the donut shop and leave, but uh, eventually you did actually eat one. And Baby had her first New York bagel sandwich. Did Baby like it? Um, I don't know, I'll have to ask Baby next time I talk to her. Then you had a peach lemonade from Starbs. Luckily there's not a whole bunch of sugar in that. <laughs> <laughs> Psych, obviously I'm joking. All right, so the first half of your day was just a bunch of sugary nonsense straight up besides the bagel sandwich. The second half of your day is going to be nothing but food in quotes. You started off the second half of the day with a vegan peanut butter shake, and then you had some chicken wings, and then you had some mac and cheese, and after that you had some kale fried chicken, and you wrapped up the day with some Dr. Pepper and tater tots, a classic. I will consider your vegan protein sources as equal, but I will consider this all still to be pre-made food because it is. Therefore, I'm going to give this one a 1 out of 10. I wanted to give that a 2, but no, I don't know why I wanted to give that a 2. It deserves a 1. They had a couple of protein sources in there, but then they also had a bunch of sugary carbs that deleted out any of the points. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hang in there. We're almost to Friday. Please click the like button. One like equals one mustache coming. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.